the Black Hand. Rico's deadly opponents and biggest challenge so far. They are the Solis Private Militia, headed up by the ruthless Gabriella. Let's hop into this spotlight on the Black Hand and explore more about the world's most advanced army. Gabriella, soldier, protector, leader. Gabriella's ambition, persistence, and deadly talent have all converged to forge the perfect Black Hand operative. You are just like me. The Black Hand is Gabriella's home and her life, and she'll do everything that she can to protect it. Ghost. Meet the ghost. Oh, wait, where'd he go? As you can see, or rather not see, the ghost enemy type has a cloaking ability that renders him almost entirely invisible. You can see how that's a bit of a pickle in combat. How do you kill him if you can't see him? There is, however, a vague rippling effect where the ghost is, so you can still make out where he is if you focus. Be quick though, whilst camouflage, they will charge up a powerful shot and attempt to shoot you before they turn visible again. The ghost is incredibly agile. They'll dart around, slide into cover, roll and evade, so that it's much trickier to pin them down and land a successful shot. His purpose is to flush you out and force you to keep moving. And he does it well. Sniper. Utilizing laser sight, the sniper has pinpoint accuracy and can cause significant damage to Rico from far away. You'll instantly know when snipers are targeting Rico because a red laser will follow him around relentlessly. Tactically, if you whip into your wingsuit, they will have a much harder time tracking your movements. Titan. Titan by name, Titan by nature. Titans do not have weak points and can take a lot of damage thanks to their incredibly resilient armor. I fired three consecutive rockets right at him and he still gets right back up. The main weapon of choice for a Titan is the railgun. They will track and target Rico with a blue laser sight, charge up a shot and then launch a high velocity projectile at him, completely blasting him backwards and crunching Rico's health. If your escape plan is to evade into the skies with your trusty parachute and wingsuit, think again. Titans can aim incredibly well, and their success rate with knocking Rico out of the sky with a blast from their railgun is more likely than not. Additionally, they have the ability to charge up a much more powerful red shot that will leave you teetering on the edge of life and death. If they manage to blast you into the path of enemies, you're a goner. If all that wasn't enough to deal with, when initializing combat, the Titan can also launch a protective drone. Talk about a double threat. Grenadier. Operating in the range between privates and snipers, the Grenadier will fire a grenade launcher multiple times towards you. The grenades don't explode upon impact, but have a couple of seconds delay before the blast, allowing for a little bit of time for you to escape before you feel the wrath of the grenades. He's also covered for when you get near him, as he'll switch to a submachine gun for close range combat. Finally, if and when you do manage to take the Grenadier down, for one last chance at taking you out, they'll drop multiple grenades that explode at once. Even after death, they're still coming for you. Super Elite. This scary looking dude is immune to all bullet damage and has high defense against explosions, making the Super Elite an enemy that requires full focus and quite some time to defeat. Thinking of using your grappling hook to latch some boosters and blow him away? Well, think again. Super Elites are also exempt from grappling hook attacks. Told you he's scary. Riot Shielder. The Shielder is a predominantly defensive enemy that carries a large riot shield and is equipped with an SMG. Entirely unique to just cause, this foe can raise a shield in all angles rather than only being able to block straight on. They do this to deliberately block wherever Rico is. For example, they'll lift it above their heads when Rico is airborne. Think of them like a tortoise, hiding in their shell. 
Well, a tortoise that can also shoot at you quite a lot. RPG units. The RPG unit was also in Just Cause 3 and has had improvements to make his behavior more coherent in Just Cause 4. This enemy targets Rico with a green laser to differentiate from the red snipers. You can also telegraph his position after he's fired a rocket as a smoke trail lingers behind from his location to yours. Even if the rocket itself doesn't hit you, the explosion makes a large damage radius. So whenever you see that green laser, try to grapple or wingsuit out of its path real quickly. Machine Gunner As we've seen in previous trailers, the secondary fire on this weapon allows him to deploy a stationary shield, crouching to cover behind it. This transforms him into a small target with high damage output. And even if you manage to get up close, he'll reposition himself so that it's difficult for you to gain an opening. Private. These are the most common enemy, and you'll find them pretty much everywhere and anywhere in the world of Solis. Visually, they are without heavy armor, and instead wear standard combat fatigues uniform. Expanding on Just Cause 3, these guys work with a much more professional style, tactical movement, and use of cover. Privates are usually taking the wheel when escorting around their fellow soldiers, and they won't think twice about running Rico over, so watch out for when they're driving. Although privates are relatively easy to dispatch of, be careful not to get swarmed by too many. Elite The privates also have an evolution, the Elite Soldier. Elites will do more damage with better weapons and have higher health due to being kitted out in thick armor. They use a range of weapons and walk around like they own the place. We've seen the Elite Soldier countless times in numerous trailers before, and you'll be sure to see much more of them in the game. You don't know anything about fear. We grow up with it. That's how life is here. Knowing that everything you love could be ripped away in an instant. But one day, I decided that I would never live in fear again. Why are you considered an adversary? Smoke from the haters, I saw imaginary. I guarantee I walk heavy in the crown I carry. So bow your heads when you're in the presence of legendary. Legendary. That's what makes you dangerous, Rico. You are just like me. Gabriela Morales commands the Black Hand. If we go to war with her, you won't be enough. How's it feel? Having an army. He's growing on me. You're in the presence of legendary! Understand why all this talking is necessary. Why you exchanging heated vocabulary? I guarantee I walk heavier than the crowd I carry. So bow your heads when you're in the presence of legendary. Why are you considered the adversary? Smoke from the haters, I saw the legendary. I guarantee I walk heavier than the crowd I carry. So bow your heads when you're in the presence of legendary. Meanwhile, a new story glues together our free-form, go-anywhere, do-anything gameplay that Just Cause is so famous for, and the stakes for Rico have never been higher. <laughs> Combat in Just Cause 4 is better than ever. Enemies now present a far more intelligent threat to Rico. Each archetype comes with unique abilities, with AI designed to keep the player on their toes. Solis is a deeply advanced systemic world in everything you've seen from the incredible physicalized destruction to unparalleled draw distance. is powered by the brand new best in class open world Apex engine. Welcome to Just Cause 4.